Welcome guys, welcome to the channel. We're at the Butterfield Cemetery. We've done, got started. We've got this much over here done. We still like these to go. And we're gonna get right back at it. There we go. This is a Civil War veteran, but we can't tell who it is. But there it is. All right, here's our next one. And it's gonna be Suzanne. And it looks like she's the daughter of John and Sally Evans. And she died August the 30th, 1850 at 15 years and one month on that stone. All right, here's our next one. Uh, they died in 1853, but uh, December the 21st, 1853, but I can't tell the name. And that stone is leaning really bad and fixed to fall any moment. Then on this side, someone else died in 1880. I want to say July the 23rd, 1880 on this side. All right, we'll move on. Here's our next little stone. Right here, and they died in 1821. It's gonna be Harriet J, the daughter of, I can't really tell who, but 1821. All right. Then we have Lola Harriet, or Jared, I mean, 1870 to 1949. Here's our next one. We're not gonna be able to read it at all. There it is. All right. This is gonna be a baby's grave, right here, or a kid's grave. And I can't tell when they died. I think 1849 to, eight, to uh, 1850 or something like that. I'm not sure. There it is. All right, here's our next one. Uh, 1831 or 51 on this one, but I, it's a Mary. That's all like Markley, I believe. Something like that. Then here's one that we can't tell nothing about. So it brings us to this one. And they died in 1881, I think, November the, or, I'm not sure. It looks like 1891 to me, but I wouldn't swear to it. All right. I'm not sure on the name, but they died in 1817. Right there, guys, 1817, if you can see it. I don't know how I'm holding the camera on this one phone. This one's a lot different than mine. Hopefully it's on there. All right, here's our next one. It's, I can't pronounce that name, but it's the wife of T. Porter. She died September the 17th, 1811. On this stone, 1811, right there. And this one here died in 1811. But I can't tell who. So there's two 1811s side by side. Oh wow, this one's fixing to break off. Beautiful stone. And they died in 1850. It's Charlotte, the wife of Solomon something right there. I can't see the name, but there it is, guys. All right. Ah, uh, woo. woo! Give me just a second. All right, this one died in 1813. It's Ellis, 1813 right there. Ellis on this one. All right. Then this one. Can't really tell on that one anything. There's a lot of broken ones right here. We're fixing to come up on. <sighs> this one died in 18, I believe 13 right here, but I wouldn't swear to it. It's gonna be Henry White. Henry White.
This one died in 1850. It's Bessie. Bessie, I don't know the last name. There it is on that one. Then we have Simon Blackman, 1798 to 1864, and Wealthy Burnett, his wife, 1801 to 1891 on that stone right there, guys. That's all that's on that stone. Then we have a John A. Timmons, 1848 to 1916, and Julia M., his wife, 1850 to 1908, and a granddaughter, 1917, on this stone right here. All right. Then we have Solomon Hilbert, Hubert, died March the 7th, 1864. Age 45 years, I believe, that's what that says. And I think he's the only one that's on that stone. And he is. And this must be his wife over here. Solomon Hubert died January the 16th, 1823 at the age of 41 years. Or 29, 29. 1829 or 3. I'm not sure what that is. Anyways, it was in the 20s. Then this one died March 20, 31st, 18, 30 or 50. I can't really make that out, guys. Up top. Uh, I think that's all that's on there. It's 1830 is what it looks to me like. All right, here's our next one. And I can't really tell anything on this one. So there it is. Oh wow, this is the smallest little tree stump one I've seen. That's pretty cool. It's a neat looking stone. Uh, I don't know if we can tell when they died. 1837. Right here, 1837. They died. And the name is Elbert. It's Elbert, I believe. Elbert. I believe on that one. Good looking little stone, though. All right, here's our next one, guys. They died in 1863. It's John Smith. Then John M. Smith is on this one. And he died September the 11th, 1840, or no, 84. 84 on that one, I'm gonna say. All right. Then we have Cora Davies, or Davis, 1884 to 1918. All right, guys, I'm going to end this one and start one more video. And, well, no, 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 no. I done started a new video. What am I looking at? I thought it said 38, but it's only saying 8. Never mind. I'm losing my mind. This is Peter Lynn. He's a private in the CO1, 4D USC1, 1844 to July the 21st, 1923. I don't know what any of that meant. Then here's Nancy Maverick or something like that. Uh, wife of Peter Glenn, February the 7th, 1848 to September the 5th, 1919. Then we have Ross Jarrett, or Boss Jarrett, Boss Jarrett, 1874 to 1940. Then we have Franny M. Shores, the wife of Caleb Shores, died July 25th, 1906, at 25 years on that stone. Then we have, can't really tell, can't really tell much on this one either. 
Nah, I'd be afraid to say on that one. I can't see enough of it to tell. This one died in 1819, I think. On this one, it's a Carissa. Looks like she died in 1819. Ow. This one died in 1831. It's a Giddy Ann, Giddy Ann. This one's missing. Alrighty. I can't tell nothing on that one. This one, looks like it, they died in 18, 13, right there, March the 22nd, and it's a William F. William F. <laughs> then this one died, yeah, 18, or something, wait a minute, October the 13th. Uh, I can't really tell on that one. Anyways, there it is, guys. Thought I was seeing an 18, but that wasn't 18. This one died. Looks like 1819 right there, but I wouldn't swear to it. July, I mean, January the 6th. But I wouldn't swear because I don't know. I can't tell on that one. Uh, this is a, this one's 1818. Oh, there's a snake. Already a snake out. Look at that little snake, guys. And we ain't even been warm yet. We're gonna let him go, though. I do not like snakes. Go that way, buddy. I'm going this way. Go that way. Don't strike at me, you little little meanie. He's a mean little feller. Look at him. He is a mean one. I'm just trying to read this headstone, dude. Anyways, it's Seth. And he died in 1818. And little Snakey can stay right there where he's at. And I'll go this way and he can stay that way. All right, this is a Belinda, and she died May the 8th, 1851. He's going down that little hole. See him going in that hole? That little snake's going in that hole. Okay, this one died in 1811, but I don't know who because stone's broken too. All right. Cold as it's been here, and we've had snow and everything in the last two days, and there's already a snake out. That is crazy. I can't really tell nothing on this one. It's upside down. It's broke off from this piece, but that's crazy. Them snakes are not hibernating like they used to or something. For a snake to be out already here in Ohio, that's crazy. Anyways, I can't see that one, guys. Looks like 18 and then the 52 over here, but I wouldn't swear to it. Some, some of them stones are wrote that way, but I don't know if that one is or not. This one died in 1827, September the 26th. It's Clark Smith, or no, yeah, Clark A. Smith, right there. All right, could be that he came out of this mulch and this mulch is warmer. Maybe, I don't know. This one's 1820. November the 20th, 1820 on Elza, right here. All right. This one, we're not gonna be able to read it all. Okay. So this is in the memory of Fanny, a wife of John Park. Uh, died 1811, October the 8th, 8th, 1811, on that stone right there, guys. 
Then this is Amos, the son of something, and died April the 17th, 1827 on this one. This is the old cemetery. Wow. Here's 1829 on L. Minor died October the 21st, 1829, I want to say on this one, at 52 years. Then Stara, the wife of Geo Minor, she died May the 9th, 1836 on this one. Then Susan, the wife of Geo Minor, she died March the 29th, 1818 on this one. Right here, guys. Then Sylvia... The wife of A minor died in 18, looks like 33 to me down there. I'm going to say uh, January the 6th, 1833. And then George Minor, he died June the 25th, 1861 at 57 years on that one. All right. Then, I don't know who this is, but they died September something, 1870. This is one here. I can't tell who it is either. It's something to A and H minor. Died September the 18th, 1866. At the age of, looks like one year, two months, and 11 days. Then this is Cynthia. Another child of the minors. Died November the 11th, 1818 on that stone. All right, guys. Then we got the wife of Z. Burnett, 1820 to 1905, and Bessie A., Martha, and William A. I don't know what that means. Then we have, I'm not sure what that name is. Died June the 24th, 1876, at the age of 78 years and four months. Then we have Bess, Bester, Bester, or something like that. Bessie, Bessie, the wife of somebody, died May the 25th, 1839. Age was 35 years on that one. I don't know what the very bottom said. That's all that's on that stone. And that stone is slowly but surely flipping over the rest of the way. There's the top of it already flipped. The only way you'll get that back up is probably with a crane. Because them things are heavy. That's probably a couple thousand pounds in that. Here's Martha M., the wife of G.W. Noten, 1844 to 1930. All right. Then we have Phil Lander Burnett, December the 30th, 1821 to December the 24th, 1883. Emmeline Van Hoff Burnett, March the 17th, 1834 to March 23rd, 1920. This next one we're not going to be able to read. Nope. So we're going to have Reverend Frank W.Z. Burnett. 1861 to 1939. Dr. Owen Ann Burnett, 1858 to 1940. And then Dr. Bessie Burnett, 1853 to 19. All right. Here's our next one, guys. And they died. I, the, the name is Stephen Ross or Boss. Something, boast, B O S T, boast, I think. Died October the 25th, 1833. On that stone right there. All right. I might as well knock these out down in this area before I go back that away. Then you got this one. Uh, they died 1841. 
1841 on this one. And it is Urim, Urim. Right there. He's the son of James M. Y. And somebody there. Something Lee on that one. All right. Then we have Amelia, wife of A.M. Davis, 1863 to 1899. Sons, James, 1892 to 1897. And Charlie, 1896 to 1897 on that stone right there, guys. Then we got a mess. You got the grave humped up over here. And you got a stone laying there you can't read. Stone here, stone here, and a stone here, and a stone here. And then a stone flipped over here, in here. So I don't know what's going on here. I think it went more that way and they buried back that away. Because see the ivy? See how it's humped up in spots? I think it went back that away a little more. But I wouldn't swear to it. But here's our next one. That we can see. And they died in 18... I want to say 22. But I don't, can't tell the name on it, guys. There it is. So you got two rows here, going, one going back and forth on these. And the one going back that away, they're, they're buried back that away. You can see where the humps where the graves are, but the stones are all broke off and they put a fence up around it. So I don't know. Anyways, can't tell nothing on this one, except it's broke. There's another one broke back there, another one broke back there. All you can see is the front ones. And I don't even know if you can see some of them. You can see this one's good. But the only problem is, it's 1811, but at the very bottom it's the dirt down there. And it's a Frank. But look how far that thing's in the dirt. It needs to be pulled back up. There it is. And you can tell them graves go back that way because it's soft. These are buried back that away towards the green. And these are buried back this way. But they got them side by side. Anyways, we'll move on. Here's another one that's 1811, but you can't tell the name. They died at 52 years on that stone right there. All right. Then you have, right here, they died in 1831, it looks like. And it's going to be a Mary Cook. Mary Cook. All right, then we got Rebecca. She's the wife of Eli C. Dumwell. And she died in July the 6th, 18. There's a one and there's a five. So 1815 on this stone right here. All right, then we got a bunch of these type. And they're buried back that away, but you can't tell. I can't see them to read them, so I'm just going to hold it on them and let you see them. I cannot see those at all with with the eye. You can probably with a camera, but not the naked eye. You can't. There they are. All right. And here's our next one. It's going to be Harriet, the wife of John. Birch Buchanan died October 21st, 18, I want to say 13 because it's straight down, but it's either 13 or 31. You be the judge at 12 years. It looks like 12 years old, or no, not 12 years, 42 years. The four is cut over, it's deeper. You just barely can tell it because it's wore off. Half the piece of stone's missing right there. So, I'm going to say she died in 1813 or 43, whichever, but she was 42 years old. Best I can tell. All right. This one died in 1837. It's a Charles, I think, but that's all I can tell on that one. All right. Here's our next one. Uh, they died in eight, March the 28th, 
1850 I want to say 1850 on this one and I want to say the name is it's S maybe Seth Hawk hacker I don't know it's something I can't tell here's a Amy looks like she's the wife of David something can't tell his name either but anyway she died in October the 5th 1818 on this stone 1818 and this one here I don't know the name but that looks like they died maybe April the 1st 1839 that looks like a 3 and that looks like a 9 to me all right here's our next one next to it it's Mary she's the wife of Thomas Booth she died December the 15th, 1837 on this stone right here, guys. That's a good looking stone. If it was cleaned up, you could read it for longer, but it's going to break off because it's lean, leaning bad. Excuse me. All right. So that gets us to here. We ain't got but a couple more left, guys. We've knocked this place out. This is going to be on this way, of course. Uh, 1865. Uh, Naomi Parker, I believe it is. Naomi Parker on that stone. All right. Then we have Hannah Archie. Died December the 3rd, 1872, at the age of 68 years, 6 months, and 11 days on that stone right there, guys. All right, then we got a few more to do, and we're done. We got this stone right here. I'm not sure. I think it's a Gilbert something, Russell. And he died in 1871. Right there. All right. And here, this one died in 18, I want to say that March the 18th, 1882. On that, this one. Right there. And that's Elizabeth. Then over here. Uh, 1883 on the bottom one I do believe and the top one's Russell but I really can't tell much about him I don't really know on him and over here it's just impossible to see so that's it on that one all right let's see yeah, I don't think we got this one I don't think we got this one I can't tell nothing anyways. All right. Ain't going to be able to tell. We got them. This one here, boy, I think it's completely gone. There's no reading that one. Unless it's on the other side. And we're in luck. It is, but you still can't read it. But there it is. <laughs> all right. That's right. That's all right. We'll move on. We got just a couple more. We could not read those. All right, so it brings us to here. It's Elizabeth, the wife of John Dean. She died October the 21st, 1817 on this one at 71 years and 10 months. Then this is John Dean. He died February the 18th, 1819 at the age of 80, wait a minute, to 82 years? Yeah. 1819 at the age of 82 years she died in 17 and he died two years later in 19 there it is guys that's the whole cemetery i appreciate you watching and peace we're out of this one